Jason Booher. Good afternoon, everyone. A good friend once said, one thing that makes people feel connected to others is knowing their weaknesses, their fears, their faults. It brings humanity to our brothers. And for the sake of seeing human, instead of talking about everything I've achieved this past 12 years, I'm going to talk about faults and fears. One of my major faults, I am a professional procrastinator. <laughs> A year ago, I was watching a, grad, a graduate writing his speech an hour before he was supposed to deliver it. I thought, that is so dumb. He's not going to have any time to practice or work on it. So I told myself, I'll start in January and February and give myself plenty of time. Well, guess what I was doing late last night? <laughs> yup, writing the speech. And school assignments, should I even go there? From finishing a vital test that could have wrecked my grade a couple minutes before the deadline, writing a research paper tomorrow that I should have written last year. Let's just say I have absolutely awesome parents that have been through a lot, especially since I was their first student. <laughs> Now for one of my biggest fears, public speaking. I would rather be kayaking backwards through dangerous rapids, doing algebra two problems, getting beat at ping pong, or jumping out of a plane at 14,000 feet. Anything rather than be standing right here. <laughs> but I'm slowly learning that the only way to conquer your fears is to face them head on. That's what I plan to do. Ever since I was a little boy, I always loved Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Yes. The writer Paul faced many things, much worse than we will ever face, but was able to conquer it through God's power. How about you guys? Do you have a fault bothering you that you think people will laugh or think you're weird? Well, it's very likely that the person sitting beside you has one very similar and just as embarrassed as you are. We choose what we do with them. We can either use them to keep quiet or use to ourselves or choose to share them and possibly gain a new friend. How about fear? Is it eating you, keeping you from reaching your goals, keeping you from doing what you know God wants you to do? Take it to him. He knows everything about you already. He's just waiting for you to ask. With God's help, we can conquer anything life throws at us. So go forth all you graduates, family, friends, everyone here today. Stop procrastinating and start living instead of seeing everything wrong with you. Focus on how to improve and be a soldier of the Lord. And most importantly, don't let past mistakes or present fears define your future actions. Be brave in the Lord and stay strong. In closing, I'd like to thank my parents, our parents for planning all this out for us and giving this, us this wonderful opportunity. I especially want to thank my parents for all their time, energy, patience, and tears they have poured into me these last 12 years to get me to where I am. Thank you.